You ever feel like decluttering the huge collection of random phone charges that you've accumulated over the years, only to realize that you have no clue which ones are the best for your phone? Well, Charge Meter is a really handy application designed to help. With the app open, as soon as you plug a charger into your phone, it'll start showing you stats related to the power your phone's receiving. That means you can quickly run through a huge collection of charges, figure out which ones charge your phone the quickest, then ditch the rest. All right, second up today is not necessarily an application, strictly speaking, but it's my latest wallpaper pack called Watercolor. So this pack is filled with 10 beautiful watercolor infused wallpapers. And I've got to say, without question, this is my favorite wallpaper pack I've ever had a hand in creating. On top of the 10 original designs, there's also an alternate version of each that will hide the dock on iOS if you're someone using an iPhone. Plus, the pack also comes with 10 desktop variants, all of which are in a crispy 5K resolution. I'm hoping that you love the pack as much as I do. And as a thank you to everyone who watches this video, if you use the code watercolor50 at checkout, then you'll get 50% off this wallpaper pack for the entire month of November. And even more than that, if you sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live, then you'll actually get this entire pack completely for free alongside promo codes to a few other apps featured in today's video. All right, next up today we have Material Pods, a fantastic application that makes using AirPods with an Android device a really seamless experience. So with the app open, you'll see any past connected AirPod devices on this main page here, and you just tap on whichever one you wanna set up, select whichever model applies, and from there on out, anytime you open your AirPods case and connect them to your phone, you'll see this really authentic, well-designed pop-up graphic, just as you would if you were using an iOS device. You can also get a quick glimpse at the battery status of your case and earphones at any time via this notification. Plus, if you dive into the app settings, you'll find a huge list of customizations, including the option to enable in-ear detection for automatic pausing and playing. Then we have Nothing 2.0 for KWGT, a beautiful widget pack made by Raj Arya that I'm absolutely positive you're gonna love. As the name indicates, this pack is filled to the brim with over 80 unique widgets, all of which are heavily inspired by Nothing's huge 2.0 software release earlier this year. You've got your minimal widgets, your fairly complex widgets, even widgets that emulate the large icons feature from Nothing phones. And honestly, folks, if you're looking to recreate that Nothing OS software experience on your non-Nothing phone, then this app has surely got to be the best way to do so. Okay, Link Sheet is an app that brings back that classic URL app chooser bottom sheet that was removed with the release of Android 12 a few years back. When you open the app, it'll first ask you to set it as the default browser. And from there on out, anytime you tap a URL in just about any application, you'll get this new URL app chooser bottom sheet interface that'll let you choose where to open that link. There's also a bunch of settings that you can play around with as well, including sorting apps by usage, adding a copy and share URL button to the sheet. Plus, you can also tweak a bunch of these link settings as well, and even completely disable all in-app browsers, which is super cool. Now, if you've ever seen that super cool Keys Cafe feature that you can get on Samsung phones via the Good Lock module, well, now you can get a very similar feature on any phone using an app called, yep, you guessed it, Keys Cafe. So much like the version exclusive to Samsung phones, this third-party solution also offers you a huge range of keyboard themes to choose between, and you can also create your own theme as well. But then what I think a lot of people will really enjoy taking advantage of are these animated themes. And these come very close to emulating the animations found within the original Keys Cafe Good Lock module. The only problem is that you can't currently add all of these effects to any of the other themes. They only work with this dark keyboard applied, which is a bit of a shame. So hopefully we'll see that updated and fixed in a future version. Then we have Cashew, an expense and budget tracker application that has one of the best material-based designs I've come across in some time, so much so that it feels like it could have been designed by Google themselves. You just set yourself a budget for whatever time period you like. Let's go with weekly for now. Then whenever you spend any money, you tap this plus button, give it a title, let's say lunch, select a category, which will be dining, then enter the amount. So let's put in $15. 
Then we just tap to add the transaction. And there you go. Our remaining total is updated. It also gets added to our list of transactions on this page. And man, the animations and design of this app are just seriously on point. Add on to that that there are a huge range of customizations you can tweak as well, plus the fact that you can lock the app with biometrics if you like, and you've got yourself a feature-packed expense tracker application worth checking out. And staying somewhat in the world of finance for a minute, and next up is Pass to Pay, a really useful application that converts any passes, tickets, and cards so that they can be used within Google Wallet. So let's say you buy a ticket to a concert coming up in a few weeks and you wanna get that ticket into Google Wallet, but the seller doesn't support that feature, then all you need to do is download a screenshot of the ticket to your phone, open the Pass to Pay app, tap on open picture, then select your recently captured ticket screenshot. If you're happy to watch an ad or if you've upgraded to the premium version, then the app will automatically enter all of the ticket information for you. Otherwise, you can enter it manually. But once complete, you tap on add to wallet. And just like that, your ticket will be added to Google Wallet. Very handy. All right, second to last today is a super cool AI powered application for automating SMS text messages called Communique AI. Once you've added any contacts that you wanna set up automated messages for, you then get a bunch of settings underneath each contact for the actual messages that you wanna send. You can select how often messages should be sent. You can also set a time period and a time zone for when messages are allowed to be sent. And there's even a bunch of these advanced parameters that you can set up as well for even more granular control. Now, that's just the scheduling side of things, but then right down the bottom, you can of course then set up what the message text should actually be. And you can even have the message generated by AI if you'd like. You can of course add to this list of templates by coming to this messages page and by entering a short message, which could be perfect for reminder-based messages about recurring appointments, for example. So definitely an application I can see being super useful. And so finally today, we have a really simple yet truly nifty little application called Floating Timer. And as the name so helpfully implies, this is an app that lets you set timers that you can see no matter what you're doing on your phone. You just enter a time, then tap on create, and there you go. Your floating timer will appear on your screen. Then you just tap on it to start the timer and you can then move it around as much as you like. You can continue to use your phone as normal whilst it counts down. And at any time, you can simply tap the timer to either pause it or to stop it from making a sound once it's complete. There's also a stopwatch mode, which can be added at the same time as your timer. And whilst you can customize the colors of the timers if you upgrade to the pro version, I do wish that there was a way to add as many timers as we liked and also customize the size and font. That would take this app from being great to being downright amazing. But that's it, 10 Android apps that I reckon you'll seriously get a kick out of downloading this month. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. And as mentioned, I do also have promo codes for each of my channel members for some of the apps featured in today's video. So a big thank you to each of the developers on screen right now. And like I said, if you wanna get the promo codes yourself, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live. And that's it. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.